Noted investor Jeff Ubbin is leaving his hedge fund value act to start a new venture and taking some parting shots at the financial system as well. Leslie Picker has the story for us with some pretty great quotes in there, Leslie. Oh, yeah. And I, I want to read you a quote from Ubbin's exit interview of sorts that he gave to the Financial Times. Ubbin said, quote, Finance is like done. Everybody's bought everybody else with low-cost debt. Everybody's maximized their margin. They've bought all their shares back. There's nothing there. Every industry has about three players. Elizabeth Warren is right. So this is pretty sharp rhetoric from a guy who up until a few months ago sat atop a $16 billion hedge fund. He stepped down as CEO earlier this year to focus on the firm's billion dollar impact fund. Now he's leaving all together to start Inclusive Capital Partners. This is a different type of impact fund. We obtained the mission statement which says that the firm will not only invest in do good companies but also oil and gas for profit education companies etc and deploy governance skills to to effectuate change at those companies. Wolf and Sarah. Leslie, is his issue with the financial system and investing that it, it's just too hard to, to do good? Because I remember, you know, he's been talking about ESG. He's come to Davos to talk about it for, you know, in the past few years, and he launched this separate fund. Was, was it just, he just wasn't able to do that alongside the Value Act hedge fund? That's exactly right. He said that the two are basically diametrically opposed. That this idea that you know you have these investors uh, that are serving as LPs in your specific funds. On one hand, they're concerned that you know one fund isn't maximizing returns because it's impact investing. On the other hand, you've got a fund that's seeking you know max to maximize returns, uh, and investors are questioning whether those returns are being sought after by complying with all sorts of ESG environmental social governance standards. So he said that you know having those two things under one umbrella was essentially problematic, uh, and he wasn't able to communicate to investors how each one uh, was able to you know both do good as well as maximize return. So he sought out to achieve that in this new fund. I mean, the, the slight issue, though, uh, I think with all of this, certainly at least the comments that are in uh, the article so far and the way they're framed in the article is, is the way he's suggesting it's an either or, or all. You're either a bad mm -hmm. capitalist or you're a good capitalist. So on one level, it's a, a little bit rich, uh, given that uh, you take the moral high ground uh, today after a couple of de decades of success yourself uh, in the in the so-called bad capitalist uh, camp, but but uh, I think more importantly is to suggest that it is either or. You can do both. I think a lot of people today, whether their fund is uh, actively labelled ESG, already take on board all of the ESG type criteria, and I think it's just a. Uh, I, I'm sure will be annoying a lot of investors today to to say, "Oh, Elizabeth Warren's right. I have to leave to join her camp," as if uh, as if you can't <laughs> actually be a, a good investor. Uh, and disagree on, on a, a couple of those key issues. So it was interesting in, in the mission statement that he had for his new fund. He talked about how, you know, 20 years ago when he started Value Act in 2000, uh, there just was, it was a lot easier to, um, you know, be a value driven investor um, to provide returns as an activist by just seeking, uh, you know, different governance methods that could help shareholders. Now he says there's more value to be had by being a proponent for environmental standards, social standards, that that's kind of the way that these uh, companies can think more long term and that the short term nature of, you know, your traditional activist investor today, uh, you know, doesn't quite jive with the long term vantage point of, you know, employees and other stakeholders um, like the environment and, and society as a whole.